everybody, and welcome to Wild Ride with Steve-O. This week, fans of Jackass rejoice, because we are talking to a Jackass legend, Dave England, and we laugh, I believe, harder than we have ever laughed on this podcast before. So, get ready for a real treat. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave England. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. And I don't have to introduce you to my co-host, Scott Randolph. We've you met before, know right? Him. Yes, Scott. I fed you fish for the first time. Oh, and the last. <laughs> and the gorgeous Paul Brisky is just all mysterious in the dark up there. I'm lurking over here. Dave, what an honor and thank you, man. I really uh, love getting to use this RV the way it was intended, where we get like super bitching guests and make it convenient by bringing the studio to them. Of course, I told Dave, like we were, we were going to come here anyway for a double date, like hang out with our girls and camp out on Dave's dope this property. This is your idea of a double date? Right. Doing here it is. Here we are. Like, so the kids. I, on that double date. <laughs> dude, my girl set it up with Dave's girl. We're going to double date. And so I'm like, yo, Dave, dude, when we come, can we fucking do a podcast with you? Like, yeah, I'm an asshole. <laughs> so what are you guys work, doing work after? Work date. Yeah. What are you guys doing after the podcast? You guys have dinner planned? Uh, I think we're going to probably build a big bonfire on your property. We could. I love it. <laughs> and we get to, to make it worse, we get here and Dave's like, yo, dude, I'm, can we do this tomorrow? <laughs> I'm covered in poison oak. And I'm like, I, I don't am. know, Dave, dude, the guys came up like, we fucking got dude, so <laughs> Seriously, I went camping this weekend. I have it in my eyes, my arms, on my legs. How do you get that on, on you? On my dick, on my ball. Wow. How do you get it on you? I don't know. I don't know. This is everywhere. I, I think it was on my pants, maybe. And then uh, in the middle of the night, I took off. I kicked my pants off because I was hot. And then they were just in the bed, like intermingling with my legs or something. I don't know. How do you know you have it? Like it, did because I have like giant rashes all over me that itch like crazy. Wow. I can't That's sleep. It. I haven't slept the last two nights. I mean, I slept, but really? not like I want to sleep. Wow. Man. I heard a story one time where these kids threw poison oak on a campfire and everybody they yeah. breathed it in. Yeah, it's really bad if you burn it. Wow, dude, I had no idea that poison yeah. oak was so gnarly. And it's everywhere around here, too. Really? Is there a jackass stunt with Shh. poison oak? <laughs> yeah, when you snort it. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, right. it lasts for like a week. Yeah. What would happen if you like chopped it up and snorted it? All bad. The last time I did that, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was a long week. Dude, let me say that out, out of everybody on Jackass, I genuinely think that you're the most fucking creative guy. I, I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> I really I think so, dude. too. Yeah, like, no I mean, dude, Like, in what ways? Let's look back at Your Instagram, like, for one, when you first started Instagram, I was like, Jesus, dude. Yeah. You're just doing some pretty creative stuff with, like, skateboarding and, like, little videos well, that you thanks, did. bro. I mean, you could tell a Dave England idea from the beginning of Jackass because it was like... You got a fucking, a big, like, cylinder rolling downhill while he's skateboarding inside it. Like, all of this, like, maybe a bad example. Give, give us uh, <laughs> some of your early greatest hits. When the door, I flick the door, the door stopper. stopper? <laughs> Flicking the door stopper was just like. That's, that's pure genius right there. <laughs> pure Classic. genius. Oing, oing, oing. Yeah, wow. just a fucking creative guy, man. Who Was uh, urban kayaking your idea? Yep. Right. Yeah. And if anybody doesn't know, I think it's sort of your most uh, like iconic bit. Would, would would that be taking a shit in the toilet at the hardware store? Yeah, that would be my most iconic bit. Written by Whitey McConaughey. All right. Whitey wrote that. How crazy is that? Nice, dude. Yeah. Who's Whitey McConaughey? He's a uh, snowboard guy. Yeah, a snowboard uh, videographer. Okay. Yeah. Cinematographer. I think he's cinnamon or sugar or something. Photographer. <laughs> See? Exactly. Yeah. That's how creative he is, dude. It wasn't the the shitting at the hardware store. Wasn't it like you showed up the first day, but oh, you shit God. your pants on the way there or something? No, yeah. well, they, they, they there was too many customers in there to clear them all. So they're like, wait, wait, wait. And I guess it was just a really busy day at the hardware store. And I'd already had this hot sauce that, I, like, it's a ticking time bomb in me. So they're like, hold on, hold on. Three hours went by, and we're in the van waiting outside, and it's like raining and wet, and and then Tremaine starts you know jabbing me in the ribs. I'm like, seriously, dude, I'm not joking. I'm going to shit my pants. And so they, they had the heater blasting. It's all like moist and humid, you know, from the rain. And then sure. when that shit, like three people puked. 
uh, out of the van load of people in there. There was a, there was a bit. There there wasn't a lot of stuff that we filmed where it's like, you know, yo, we can't show this. You know, like MTV just shoots it down. Like we will not show this. I had like where I got the I got branded a heart over my heart. Like they let us film it, but then they were like, no, there's no fucking way we can show. It. And that never got shown. Oh really? Very little things what that I ever got. See, what did we see of you then that you got branded? Yeah, because I've seen that footage. Uh, it came out like on like something like, like after it was never allowed uh, on TV. I see. Never allowed on TV. But uh, the, the the fucking uh, the, the one that Dave had, which wasn't allowed on, and ultimately it did end up getting on. But but it was like uh, in the oh, vault, it, and it was it was fake poo. I know. It, the idea was the poo diaper. The Dave, poo diaper. Yeah. He just took a fucking chocolate pudding, put it in a diaper, and stashed it in a trash can, like where there's a bunch of people. <laughs> and then and I asked them for change. You know, I was like, it doesn't take much for me to look like a homeless guy. <laughs> so I was looking like a homeless guy, like, oh, do you have any change? No one would give it to me. So I, I dug says, in the oh, trash. I'm so hungry. I dig in the trash, <laughs> so and there's a plant. We planted a diaper in there with, you know, pudding, and I ate it out of the diaper. I'm so hungry. Was I'm that so hungry. I, my favorite was the one guy goes, Yo, homeboy, that's a diaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a diaper, dude. <laughs> was that your idea? Homeboy. Yeah, yeah, that was one of my yeah. ideas. And was that before pooping on in the hardware store? Oh, like, yeah. That, that was during our TV. That was like the last few uh, episodes of our TV show before that movie. So okay. Th what's your infatuation with shitting? Right. Wait, no, wait. But with that, that wasn't shitting. It was just pudding. Right. But, but then MTV, you know, we filmed it and it turned out really funny. And then MTV's like, there's no way we're putting that on TV. It's too gross. It's just It's just pudding, you know. But anyway, right. so, so Knoxville, from what I understood, I could have this wrong. But he said, I quit. If you don't put that on TV, so they're like, okay, okay, you put it on, and then he goes, then after he goes, I quit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the one that he said he he would quit was like it was his cousin or something, and his cousin they had footage of his cousin where it's like, you know, I'm gonna fart or something, and it was the it was called the accidental poop. Like uh, some nervous nephew, some family member, and he goes to to fart, and like a poop comes out, and. I think the, he, Knoxville really went to war to get that yeah. on TV. <laughs> yeah. so, Did but, it make it on TV? Yeah, I remember that I think so. one. Because MTV won't allow shit at all, right? Or Paramount or anybody won't allow shit. I mean, because, like dog shit. Yeah, but no, but like, like dog shit, right? But like, but then the I movie mean, dude, we were but, able but, to but do dude, Chris Rapp was oh, able really? to. Chris, well, yeah. Chris, Chris Rapp was allowed yeah. to fucking like run full speed taking yeah, his yeah. shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Where they draw the line, yeah. <laughs> he wait, it's, what? He ran full speed and took a shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was based on a George Carlin joke. Yeah. Yeah. But they, where, where did that air? Um, on maybe the TV maybe show? we just saw that on a CKY but, video though, and it wasn't on TV never got, at all. I, that made it. I don't. I, don't, I definitely yeah, saw yeah, it on CKY. I don't know if it was on. Yeah, I don't know if it made it, but I thought it did. Too. Yeah, as fast I think it did. I swear, I think it did. But um, then once we hit the movies, then it was like. Like, I've taken a shit in every movie we've made so far. Like, a oh. real shit. This real shit, everybody. Right. We didn't fake it. You, yeah, you've taken a shit in every movie. Well, my question is, Wendy, it was real. When <laughs> and how? Like, when did you become the shit guy? Was it... Was it high school? <laughs> was it college? Because you're, you're sort of known I, for shitting. I, like, I, like, when did that I remember, like, there was, like, a field behind my neighborhood where all the kids would play, and, and nobody wanted to play with me ever. And I remember back then, when I, I, when I was a kid, the Gatorade bottles were glass. So okay. I shit in really big mouth, so I shit in the glass Gatorade bottle and threw it on a stump in the backfield there with all the kids there. And, and the glass went everywhere, and the shit smashed on the stump. And then from then on out, like, I was cool. Wow. wow. <laughs> so then when you got jackets, you're like, I'll shit because that, that'll that make me cool here. That, that's they're just like, that's yeah, like, for me. I, what, I, I was surprised. They're like, you can just shit whenever? I'm like, yeah. Like, <laughs> You can to just me, shit it didn't whenever. seem like a big deal. Yeah, I could shit in front of someone bef way before I could pee in front of them. Like, wow. easily, yeah. Hmm. And, and originally, it was Chris Pontius who was the shit guy. He did the Pucano, right? Right, because in the big oh brother, yeah, the yeah, big the Big Brother, brother video, video, he did it, and I've always yeah. So he did the first Pucano. I think Dave Carney wrote it, and then Chris yeah. Pontius did it. But like, they did it all wrong. He like laid down, and the poop went sideways. It didn't turn out right. And ever since then, that was like mid nineties. And you thought that was all, wrong? I thought that was fucking. It genius. was still awesome, but I I'm like, it was amazing. if you're gonna call it Pucano, it needs to be looking right, like straight okay. up. No, yeah, let me rephrase that before I get <laughs> yeah. beat up by Chris. No, 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 <laughs> it's fine. And I mean, if anything, that I thought was it, was it was just that you saw that it was an enema, like the water came out, and then the you know. Yeah. Well, then. Well, I was all ready to do mine, so I'm. I've got my legs over this way, and then my butt up this way, and I'm like, okay, guys, I'm ready to go. I'd carefully planned like for one month i didn't eat 
I didn't drink any caffeine. And then to that day, I ate as much as I could and drank two giant Red Bulls. And so I'm laying up there ready to go. There's and they're like, one more there. thing. And, I, you know, they got that whole train set thing over yeah, me. Yeah, this was for Jackass 3D. Yeah, for Jackass 3D. Where your ass was part of it. Pucano. And, and so I'm all ready to go. And they didn't <laughs> tell me they had this plan. And then Pontius comes up with an enema. He's like, huh, huh. like, no, Chris, I'm good. I'm good. Huh, huh. I'm like, seriously, dude, don't put that in me. <laughs> it was pretty rough. No, so but whatever, Pontius. he's my friend. He's allowed to do that if he thinks it's necessary. <laughs> and he did it. So if you watch it, you can see that I like kind of just That's shot right. the water out separately because I can, I can. He penetrated oh, wow. apartments. You can switch Got rid chambers. of that. You'll see it. Like some water goes out, and then all this shit comes out. Wait, uh, so you can, you have like, can you it, fart on command? No. Okay. But you can shit right now if we wanted you to. Yeah, if you want me to. So did, did, did you did I'll you have the hole. opening <laughs> scene for one of the Jackass movies where you shit on the toilet? Like the little dollhouse toilet? Yeah, that was a great one yeah, too. Yeah, so that one, so so uh I did the fire hose rodeo in part two, so and then I, I slammed my ass super bad and you know, went to the hospital. They gave me some painkillers. So I took them. And then the next day, they're like, let's do this, your idea with the little toilet. We have the whole thing set up. And I'm like, guys, like, the pain pills, I can't take a shit. And so so they're like, let's try it anyways. So, you know, everyone's, all the cameras are on me. I'm trying as hard as I can. And, and you know, I don't know, like, pain pills, I think it's pretty much for everybody. They constipate, everybody. You, they constipate think, you. Yeah. Like, even though I'm a professional shitter, come on, I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is, this is what happened. So I, I want this footage, by the way. I got to find this. I took a shit that was proportional to the little toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the right size for the toilet. And wow. they're like, oh, forget it. And they, and they went to throw it away. I'm like, ah! And I grabbed it. I'm like, I'll clean it out. And we'll, let's, I'll hang on to this and I'll bring it and we'll film it. So like, I kept it with me. And then we were at Knoxville's house one day. I'm like, hey, can we do this? And they're like, let's do it. How wow. big of a deal is that to get like the first shot of a movie? What, like, first what, shot? Will you? Because the first, the oh, first one take. Yeah. You mean like one no, 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 the no, opening like, scene or like because you not were the stoked. opening scene. Where, where I think what you want to start filming a Jackass movie like with something that you're pretty sure is gonna work, so that like your first shoot is like gives you like a good high morale to start off on, like on a good vibe. You don't want to like shoot something that might work as the first thing. You want to come out yeah. of the gates. So. For for the second movie, I don't remember what the first one was, but the second movie, the first shoot was the puppet show where Pontius yeah. put his dick in the thing and got bit by a snake. Yeah. Like there was no way that wasn't going to work. Yeah. And then on the third movie, it was uh, Fart Darts. Oh, man. Where they, they, Will the Farter. Well, we met that guy at the show, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was another he, good he, start. He didn't have a butthole. Uh, he was born without a butthole. Yeah, I remember like we, we shot the... Uh, we shot the fucking fart dart scene, and and we we're all hanging out on the set after. It was like everything was great. I'm standing there with Knoxville while Will the farter was telling us like how he was born without a butthole. He's like, like, I think he prefaces it by, "Don't tell anyone I told you this," <laughs> but <laughs> I was born without a butthole. Oh. That's how I remember it. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're oh, gonna tell it someone like, right now. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I no, I don't think that was the case at all. I think uh, <laughs> that, he's like, please don't tell anybody this. But <laughs> it went down like that. <laughs> wow. None of this will air. Oh my god! But we we have his info, right? Oh, here's one for Will the Farter. <laughs> yeah. Nice, that's nice, dude. <laughs> that was the first audible <laughs> fart I think on the show. Oh wow, about right? That? Oh, I've I never guess heard so. one. Yeah, cool, next man. time you got to stand up and put your butt in the mic. Now speaking about shitting, okay, th there was uh, a Dave England moment that I wasn't there for, but it happened in Europe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I need everybody to take a deep breath because you are about to find yourself laughing maybe harder than you've ever laughed while listening to a podcast. That is my prediction. It is also my prediction that if you sell stuff online in any capacity, on Amazon, on Etsy, on your own website, on through any channel, that you're going to do a lot better business if you use ShipStation. You know how I'm always talking about, like, we've got the warehouse, the fulfillment center. The whole secret to it is ShipStation. Every single order is just automated. All the different sales channels are just funneled into one easy interface, and you can control it from anywhere, even on your cell phone. Okay? Plus, it gives you access to, like, the best discount rates, which 
used to be reserved for Fortune 500 companies. So yeah, if you're not selling stuff, you're blowing it. If you are selling stuff, get ready to sell a lot more efficiently, a lot more easily, and for a lot less money, okay? And I'm gonna give you a 60-day risk-free trial. That's 60 days of absolutely hassle-free, stress-free shipping, and you don't have to pay anything, okay? So to get this deal, you're gonna go to shipstation.com and at the top of the page, you're going to click the microphone icon. Type in the promo code STEVO, and you're off to the races. Sign up and just start selling stuff. It's time to make ship happen. Now, one more time. ShipStation.com, top of the page. Click the microphone, type in the promo code STEVO, and start selling. Now, get ready to laugh. Right? Was that was it your shit? And you in Paris. Me? In Paris. In romantic Paris. This is okay. We did the gumball rally, right? And the gumball rally was a special jackass episode with me, Pontius, and, and Knoxville. And we went like racing through 10 different countries in a big loop through Europe with all these crazy millionaires. It was all kinds of fun. Uh, when we got back to England where we started, I was done. And then they continued on to shoot in like Amsterdam and Paris, like uh, all, all these different places. And Dave England was there for the, all that filming. But if, I, if I've got the story right, you guys are staying in a hotel in Paris, Tremaine's out like drinking, and you think it's funny that like you're going to take a shit and smear your own shit all over Tremaine's hotel door handle. We were there to work, and he <laughs> flew his fiance, now wife, Laura, in, and... <laughs> They went out on a romantic date, and I thought that was total bullshit. So, <laughs> so we were all, all of us did. We were, the rest of us were like, what can we do about this? And I think it was me and Bam that went in cahoots on this and just were like, okay, someone needs to take a shit. We're I don't gonna... think Bam was, was no, he that. was a, Yeah, he was there for sure. Oh, he was yeah, there, okay. Yeah, he was definitely there. Was that? Yeah. And then, and then so well, anyways, long story short, I took a shit, rubbed it all over his uh, Tremaine's hotel door room and then when they got we the waited door on the outside yeah on the outside of his handle. hotel door room so when he gets back from the date they get back and they're it's gonna go back to the hotel handle, and so we're watching from around the corner <laughs> he just fully just full <laughs> squeeze turn with film that yeah yeah we uh, had we, we had something like i don't maybe not a very good camera but yeah and not very good angles and, and stuff so, like so Tr <laughs> tremaine was like okay you got me good but the thing was that at that point Th we, then we i went out drinking and back then we always shared hotel rooms we weren't like baller status yeah, where we got our own hotel room. Yeah, I was sharing so, my hotel room with Gooch, one of the producers. Right. And so Tremaine's like, God, Dave England's such a dumbass schmuck because I'm with Gooch, who's got a key to Dave England's room. <laughs> so Gooch lets Tremaine into Dave England's room. And and uh, so Tremaine goes in there. He's probably all drunk, too. Dave's got his suitcase opened up. And Tremaine just fucking pulls out his dick and just pisses into Dave England's <laughs> suitcase. Pisses on everything in his suitcase. Yeah. And, and that was a step too far for Dave England. Mm. Okay. So I'd, then I'd it because happened. you had bought a gift. I, for yeah, for my, like, I had uh, my first uh kid my daughter was on the way like no like she wasn't born yet but i bought her a stuffed animal i don't know it was stupid her name's ruby. Like, yeah, ruby i got bought ruby this stuffed bunny i remember i put it in there it was just covered in tremaine's piss and that i don't know that i guess it was just the whole thing like all my stuff was covered in piss and i was drunk and we, our next stop was amsterdam the next morning oh, dude, we were going I straight to this. amsterdam so i'm like well fuck that i called the hotel it was no, no, during spring break air, I, didn't you call the airline i called I everybody i canceled their flights i canceled everybody's flights i canceled their flights i canceled all the, all the Ooh, hotel reservation everybody everyone else that we were filming with the rest and i just <laughs> i flew back home in the middle of the night and canceled everybody's shit for their like next uh, like dude, real why? dick move because he, he peed in my bag of my daughter's stuffed animal that's why why <laughs> Oh dude, get all heated in here. Dude, I forgot oh. all that, dude. He that called was it. too far. <laughs> he he shit on his door handle. <laughs> <laughs> A door handle. <laughs> Here, wash your hand, wash, leave the door handle. Can't you buy another teddy bear or dude. like wash your clothes? Dude, we came out here to work, man. <laughs> and you went to dinner. <laughs> you went to dinner. <laughs> With his future wife. <laughs> you went to dinner. <laughs> so so I said, ate a meal, so goddammit. Fuck this whole trip, I'm not working, and neither are you. <laughs> yeah, it, or you. We don't want to work? Nobody wants to work? Nobody's working. So, so what happened? Yeah, when did they learn what happened? Like, 
Um, yeah, well, they they woke up the next day and went to the airport to get their flight, and they're like, you canceled the uh, flight. And then they, they're like, they got somehow got another flight, got to the to Amsterdam at, during spring break, and they're like, you don't have a hotel room, you canceled them. Yeah. Yeah, so they got pretty mad at me. I was in all this How'd trouble. They know it was you? Dude, didn't you get fired? I was, I, I was like, fuckers, I fucking canceled all your shit. That's what they knew. Oh, shit, wow. dude. That's it'll, good. It'll teach that, them that, to piss on your teddy bear. That might be the hardest we've laughed on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, dude. Was that so? So oh was that God. Darf mode? Can we talk about Darf? That was borderline Darf. <laughs> That's a little too organized for Darf. That was. That was. That was the creativity. Darf does not have his shit together like that. Yeah. That was like. Yeah. yeah. That was just. That was tipsy. Yeah. Was you wanted an example yeah. of Dave's creativity. And can that can we it. explain who Darf is? Sure. I just if I drink too much. This Dave might. England's alter ego. Alter. When he do you gets remember who? You, do you remember when you're Darf? Does, does no, Darf? I always usually I wake up in the morning. I'm like, hey everybody, how's it going? And they're like, how dare you show your face here? And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Are you and then they start fucking <laughs> listing shit off like this. Like you did this, 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 this. And you can't I'm believe like, there it. wasn't enough hours to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like how was I that busy? <laughs> Very busy. Dude, That's da- funny. Yeah, Dave England gets drunk to the point where he becomes his alter ego, Darf. And, like, Dar- nothing good happens when, yeah. when Darf's so, around. I don't do it much. Because I remember, <laughs> I remember was, it, was it 2.5 when Tremaine was talking about how, you know, Darf came out and then the next day they had you, like, jumping yeah. off of a horse? Yeah, 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 yeah. So was that before no, 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 the show? Off, off the horse. Was that three? That was, was three. three yeah, that was three. Oh, so that was, so the, that was way yeah, after that was, the show. That was 2010. That was early in three. Yeah, that was like that was I, early in three, and then Dave was yeah. like, uh, like I didn't drink for the rest of that whole movie, and then you for another for like, three went, years, yeah, for like three years, years. three really? years. What was it? What was a terrible Darf uh, episode? Like, was it Tremaine's wedding or Bam's wedding? Oh, Bam's and, wedding! And you went through the hotel just breaking yeah, every light. I broke light. a lot of stuff. I guess that's what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> April was so disappointed. That was the worst part for me. Is April's disappointment. <laughs> Where was this in? in Some East fancy Coast? hotel somewhere. Yeah, maybe Philadelphia or something. Hey, what 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 do you drink that makes you turn into Darf? Uh, alcohol of any sort. Only, uh, but any you know, sort. no more whiskey or tequila really does the trick. Tequila yeah. does the trick. Any alcohol that gets you can like quickly like. Like the beer's taking me so long to drink. Finally, I'm like, ah, oh, phooey, I give up. Yeah, but the, the hard alcohol, you're like, woo, this is wow, it's going now easier and easier and easier. Wow, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not good at it. nothing. Nothing to be proud of, that's for sure. But it's, it's made some people laugh. They, people seem to laugh when they tell the stories, but at the time, nobody's laughing. Yeah, uh, dude, oh, it's so fucking good, man. He's, he's he wakes up no idea that anything was wrong. How dare you show? I mean, you must have had mornings like that too, Steve, right? Where you're like, yeah, what's your alter uh, ego? I mean, I, I had the time when uh, we were in Russia and I got so fucking we got so wasted on vodka and part of the night like was me kissing Pontius on the dick you don't remember and, that? Like, no I do remember that and then I, I suppose like uh, I don't remember anything maybe later but the next morning I came out of this little bungalow co- cottage thing and there's <laughs> he looks at me just with disgust absolute fucking disgust he says do you know what you did last night (laughs) and all of a sudden my heart just fucking stops and i'm like oh my god i'm about to hear like i just did something so fucking terrible oh no oh no what is it what is it and he goes you're a fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> he was so oh, mad at me man. for kissing the dick. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny, dude. But you do you, you And I said, Oh dude, is that all? Oh sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Fuck, man. That's so good. I mean, were you a blackout drinker or did you just do too Not much too cocaine much. to where you were just up? Yeah, dude, I didn't black out too you much. You ever right wake now. up in jail or like you knew you were going no. to jail? Oh, I thought, dude, what a creepy thought. I don't think, I've always known I was going to jail. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever been to jail? I had no idea that Dave had been to jail so many times. You know what happens when you go to jail? You want to watch out for your butthole. Do you have a butthole? Well, I got something for it. It's called Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole. And it is delicious. A lot of people wonder, look, why would you call it that? Well, in my view, it's so delicious that you're just going to consume enough of it. Your butthole's not only going to find out about it, oh, it is going to like it. And 
You can get it on Amazon. You know, when people are buying this stuff, like we go up the rankings of hot sauce on Amazon. We've been up to number three. Man, maybe we can get to number one. If you, if all of you go on to Amazon and type in Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, please do it now because that would sure mean a lot to me. Now let's hear about Dave going to jail. I've been to jail five times in three countries. Wow, you're nice. Do you have any mug shots? Probably. I don't really seek them out. What what countries? Uh, United States, <laughs> New Zealand, and Japan. Don't go to jail in Japan. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, what's then that? They have like? windows. <laughs> well, what were you in in Japan for? Oh, uh, I guess I stole a bike in the middle of the night. <laughs> Was that, when we were, was that when we were there shooting the movie? I was, I was lost, and I couldn't find anyone. It was a broken-down bike like nobody wanted. It was already a discarded bike, I swear. Like, I don't go around stealing bikes. I was, I was lost trying to find my hotel, and, like, finally I'm like, I'm just going to grab this bike, and it didn't <laughs> have a I light. I don't go around stealing bikes. I find them. <laughs> <laughs> no, so then they're like, they're like, they come, they're like, you know, I guess you have to have some kind of papers or something for your bike there. I don't know what <laughs> oh. they wanted, but I didn't have it. I, you know, it was communicating. We, so they got a translator, and then, then they're like, you stole the bike and then uh and then so they didn't know what to do they they held me there overnight and the next day they're like where did you get this bike i'm like i don't know i don't know and they're like we're gonna drive you around until you find it i'm like okay and they drove me around I'm like oh look right there yeah, <laughs> like that... finally i just made up a spot i was like that's where exactly where it was they're like you sure i'm like right there it was right against that railing that wasn't right when we were there no like... this is for a snowboard trip snowboarding in the thing, yeah. i used to go there all the time in the 90s what's the jail mm -hmm. like in japan no windows just just dark, dark, dark. Like they just open the door and check on you every now and then. Like give just, you sushi? No, I don't. They, they gave me some food. I didn't eat it. I don't know what it was. I just didn't eat it. I was just. It was scary. I thought I'd be in there forever. Really? How long but were you there for? Just for a, you know, from the like midnight to like midday the next day. And then what'd you do in New Zealand? Uh, I I bought a little car. This little thing. It was like a mini, but the front of it looked like a Rolls Royce. It's called a Land Crab. Wolseley. That's cool. And uh, so, like, I bought it, and then, then like, I, I rented this little place on this hill, and, like, two miles down the hill was the bar. And so I took two shots of whiskey, got in a little car, drove down the hill, and then I was, like, looking at it. I was like, wow, I love this little car. And this cop comes by, and he's like, is that your little car? I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you just drive down that hill? I'm like, yeah. He's like, breathe into this. Really? <laughs> and he gave me a, he gave me, they, they call it, a, instead of a DUI, they call it a, a, di a dicky, a D-I-C, a drunken control. Oh wow! Wait, drunk, huh? drunk in charge. I think it's drunk, oh, drunk in charge. Sounds right. Yeah, drunk in charge. Oh, like in charge of a vehicle yeah. or something. And then so I had to go to court, and it was a five hundred dollar fine, and I lost my license in New Zealand for six months. <laughs> but I just kept driving. Well, how, how long are you in New Zealand for? Uh, like four or five months. And that was for snowboarding too. Yeah, for because they have opposite seasons. So. Is this all pre pre Jackass? Jackass. Yeah, yeah, well, like Jackass started from a skateboarding magazine called Big Brother. And like Big Brother had like if I'm if I'm right like sort of a, a sister like magazine yeah. which was devoted to snowboarding called Blunt. Yeah, Ken Block had started it. The guy who started DC oh, wow. and mm -hmm. you know he's the race car driver now. Mm -hmm. He started uh, Blunt magazine, which was ended up because then Steve Rock Steve Rocco, you know, he was the owner of Big Brother. He bought Blunt from Ken Block after like five or six. Uh, um, Issues. Uh, issues. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, wait, episodes. I just kind of want to say right. episodes. Was that at Larry Flint Publishing? No, no. Then, so, so then, oh. Rocco bought the mags. So he had both mags. Then he sold both mags to Larry Flint. Oh, I didn't know Blunt was purchased yeah. by Larry Flint yeah. too. No, okay, you're not even gonna believe this. They wanted the Snowmore magazine more than they wanted the Skateboard magazine. Wow. Like Rock was like, you gotta take that. That doesn't like, add up to this. me. That doesn't add up because it was the kids' issue of Big Brother with Sheckler that uh, it's caused all the controversy that made Larry Flint want to buy Big Brother. You can say that, but they, they saw, but their magazines, they had like Hot Boat magazine, all these other magazines, and they snowboarding was getting really big right then, and they're like, they want, they thought it was gonna be this, you know, like legit Snowboard Dude. magazine, and we were like, it was like the. Snowboard version of Big Brother instead, right. and they didn't like that at all. It's crazy wow. because I thought that Larry Flint published like twenty-seven porno magazines and one skateboard magazine for kids. I never no, heard... so many magazines. In I, that ne I never so mm. many just mainstream stuff you would oh, never shit, think. Dude. Yeah. Did, did, did did he own all the shit that was in that building? Because I remember like when I went to the I the, the Brazilian consulates in there, like when I had to go to yeah, Brazil, yeah, I had my visas thing. in there. No, that thing's huge. You don't that's need a big that. Ass building. Magazines. Well, that's what they're saying. Like he would recruit girls that would come in from Brazil, like to get their visas or vice versa, and he'd be like, "Yeah, come, you know." Right. But I was, mm. I was in the office next door to Big Brother, so I would just, you know, help them out with the videos and stuff, like do little 
skits in them. And then uh, all of a sudden, you know, Tremaine's like, oh, we're going to try to make a TV show. You want to be involved? I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. So what, what did you do at the, the Blunt magazine? I was he the editor. Snow, he snowboarded, and that's how he lost one of his balls. Yeah, well, I, I was a pro snowboarder in the early part of the '90s, and then I, uh, and then I ended up writing stories and taking a bunch of photos, and and then ended up being the the editor for Blunt. So the I, editor, I, that I, means you're like running the magazine, yeah, essentially, yeah, right? You were the like the Jeff of, Tremaine, you were like the Dave Carney. More he like was the, Dave Carney. You know, or the Carney. funny part is, is yeah, I was more like Carney because mm. Tremaine was the art director of, oh. of Big Brother magazine. Okay. He wasn't the actual. Editor. And then when Rocco sold it to Larry Flint, then Tremaine sort of became editor in chief. Okay. And in our magazine, anytime like the people upstairs wanted to talk to us, like you know the the Flint people, we're like, Jeff, will you go talk to them? Because <laughs> we were like scared of them. We didn't know how to talk their language. We were mm. like, I don't know. Those fuckers want to talk to us. He's like, All right, all right. And he'd go deal with them for us. Tell wow. us about losing your ball. Uh, in 1990, he's got no, one no, ball. He, but you, yeah, okay. In 1997, I was snowboarding in New Zealand, and I I overshot a jump. I did a frontside 360, and which you're like the last one of your blind of. And so like I came around and like just landed really flat and, and got a double hernia. That's where your gut wall opens up on both sides and or, or like your stomach wall opens up and lets some of your guts through and they get squeezed. Wow. And you can kind of like push it back in there, but it just keeps popping out. And it's like this horrible, like the blood flow gets taken away or something. So like, I'm like, ah, oh. they're like, you need to go to the hospital. I'm like, I'm just going to fly home and do it. So I, I should have went to the hospital there because I didn't know, but my nut cord was, strangulated in there too so i came back here got the surgery wake up and there's this horrible stinging sensation I'm like what the hell and they're like oh sorry we had to take one of your testicles out they and just like, told you after like, well yeah i was out for the surgery i'm like wake up i'm like what where is it i want it and they're like <laughs> they're like you signed uh you know like we can throw all medical waste away Dude, I'm like, that's it's so not what i would have done i'm like it's not yeah. medical waste it's my ball like give it back <laughs> I'm like, I want to put it in a jar of formaldehyde and put it on my my mantle or something. Like, yeah. people say you only got one ball. I'm like, I got two. There's the other one right there. <laughs> I it, actually, I, it, oh, then and so anyways, yeah. Then they said I couldn't have babies, but I had four. So fuck doctors. Never listen to what a doctor says. By the way, they, 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 they tell me so many fucked up shit over the years. Did. The uni baller oh. is the most prolific yeah. child bearer. Or but this, I had this right. other idea the other day. Like, like I should have got that ball cremated and then made it into an egg timer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the sand, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah I kinda want when I die, I want my ashes just made into a giant sand timer. Oh, thing. that'd be cool. Yeah. Do people do that? That's really cool. I don't think so. I don't think ashes work like sand. I, okay. I, 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 I don't, don't care. Wouldn't. I still want to be have there was a <laughs> broken sand timer. What is that? But what does that feel like when you lose one. a ball? Like does it feel like getting kicked in the nuts? <laughs> have like you ever heard of when uh, people get an arm taken off, they get ghost limb? They feel like the limb's still there. Yeah. Phantom limb. Yeah, phantom limb. I felt like that. I would be like, I swear it would be there. I'm like, what? What? It's just not there, but it feels like it's Except there. It hangs right in the middle. Really? No, this one's still waiting. It still hangs uh, on that yeah. side. Your waiting. left or your right now? My right Smith. Yeah. Hmm. Your right Smith. Yeah, the other one just, I'm like, you can move into the middle. It's like, no, no, he's coming back. Is there like a little bit of sack on the missing side? No, it's kind of just, or up. it's just like, it's so kept it me really high and tight, goes, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. When it gets cold, what happens? The other one tries to crawl back inside. Then what happens to you? <laughs> Dude, I got to show you this tattoo design I came up with. Oh, wow. The extra testicle. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Well, wow, it looks like he has a weird hairdo. I like it. Like you show that to the vein. camera? Dude, that, that was an underwhelming reaction, vein. dude. I think this is the funniest fucking thing that I've ever come up with. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very, I, I'm very, well, if it was even two, really it good. would be extra. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos that you want to come up with? Some yeah, tattoos yeah. That I want to come yeah, up with, like a, like a, cr a creative idea for a I'm not really into tattoos. <clears throat> you don't have any tattoos. I have, one, do you? I have two tattoos, with one over the other. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a bear. No, it's it's a, like pig. a pig. A pig. But I don't even care about it. I don't care about tattoos. I just there's not even on my radar. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, hmm. right. Um, so it obviously, like for the people watching, you're missing a tooth. Yeah. And, and you just rock it. Well, do, I'm do you like, do you like not having a tooth? <clears throat> I, it, at first, it was kind of a cool novelty, but now I'm over it. And then uh, I was about to get a dental implant. I had the little receding end in there. Uh huh. Oh, but nice. uh, I was just about to get it, and then they're they're like, they've been, this one's been on shaky ground because I got smashed in the face surfing. The surfboard, surfboard yeah. hit me, and then so it didn't just hit that one. It hit a lot of them. This one is dead too, and maybe some of the others too. I'm hoping not, but this one has to be removed. So they can't put the this one in until they pull this one out. But then I'll have two missing. 
Like, like I, I got two. Yeah, then I've seen you like that. I'm like, I don't want to have yeah. two missing. That looks like two shit. Missing. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't uh, you get one of these flipper things? I have the flipper and I hate it. Like I can't. Oh, yeah. I just can't have that in my mouth. I can't. Like I can't. I can't deal with that thing in there. I kind of dig it, man. I don't know. I don't. I'm like. The whole time. You should get fitted for another one. I think that, like, sometimes, like, uh, the, the, you got one that's not fitted. No, it fits perfectly. I can't get it out either. The dentist gave me his dentist tool to go home with. He's like, I don't know. You got to use this. Oops. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, but, yeah, eventually I'll get, a, I'll get my teeth fixed. Jeff Tremaine, the director of Jackass, says, don't ever fix it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. He's I'm a, not listening to him. He's, he's a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. beat on your bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. He cancel his like flight. Girl yeah. bunny. He cancels mortgage. Yeah. He beat on his bunny. <laughs> yeah, <it's so> <laughs> Nobody for, pees on my bunny. Dude, I so forgot about the canceling the flights, dude. That's so hardcore. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask you about uh, jackass injuries? Because I remember when we, were in, when we were in Ohio, or we were somewhere, I think in Phoenix, that like you had to go to the chiropractor because you're like, dude, my neck uh, is so fucked up. In 2010, when we did Jackass 3, I just kept getting neck injuries that whole movie. Like, bam, kicked me. Yeah. That, oh, and dude, that that's fucked right. up. And then, like, we we did this thing in this hallway with a boogie board and all these balls, and I caught my head on the, one of the doorways and hurt my neck really Ugh. bad. And then uh, <clears throat> and then I, the slingshot of me into that swimming pool, and one time I just went head first in the swimming pool and cranked my neck. Ugh. So, like, from it's 2010 to... 2015, my neck hurt so goddamn bad, and I did everything I could, and finally I got a surgery. That's my big oh, story. Oh, did you? Did yeah. you get a? Did you get the <laughs> Paramount to pay for the neck surgery? No, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what would what, you get done? Did, like a <clears throat> disc? Yeah, they like they fuse your disc together. Damn. I saw a pretty goddamn mo good mobility, and and it, I couldn't sleep. It was the problem, and now I can sleep for the most part. I'm in this fucking poison oak yeah, right now. Except for the poison oak. Fucking dying. It's on my fucking eyes, dude. I hate really? it. Damn. I remember when uh, we had like the, the jackass takeover. Like uh, we were doing the jackass world. This was right before I got sober. So I was at my absolute worst. Oh, yeah. In New York. I remember that. Yeah. I was at my you were, absolute You were at your worst. <laughs> I was at <laughs> an <laughs> understatement. Yeah. And, and, and my, yeah, my worst is, is something else because my best isn't that great. But <laughs> <laughs> you, you decided you could only walk on money. Do you remember that? You had that guy throwing, <laughs> money, but then he, they had another guy right behind him cleaning it because they didn't have enough to like keep going. And then he'd what? clean that money up and then throw it. Another guy would throw what? more money. It was like a why cycle. Come up with well, that. Like, uh, like, like uh, coming to America where they're walking on rose petals. <laughs> but with money. <laughs> What's that fun, man? Yeah, I did be walking on money. It was like ones and shit, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't remember that, so, but now that you remind me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right. That's but, great. But there was a shoot that was going on when we were in New York for that time because we were trying to film all these bits for uh, Jackass World. They thought that this is going to be great. We're going to have a website that's going to... You know, and like there was a winch on like an ice skating thing. Oh yeah, that fucked me up. And you yeah. got you got pretty hurt on that. Yeah, we had those fat suits, you know, or like fat fucks or whatever suits. So like you're supposed to be, you know, there's nothing bad, no harm can come your way <laughs> when you're wearing that. A bunch of bubble wrap. So uh, it was a, a, like this high speed pulling winch thing, and and uh, you go off a launch ramp, and then it was like a pyramid of trash cans. Yeah. And the idea, I think, would be, you know, I, basically you just like let. Everything go to shit when you hit the trash cans, but for some reason I'm like I'm gonna land it. <laughs> so I fucking landed on the ice, and my one leg just slipped out and just fucking blew out my knee really bad. Damn. Did you have knee surgery from that? No, I just did rehab. It was it was just my MCL, not my ACL. Huh. You can rehab an MCL, I, I remember, not the ACLs. I remember considering that like. Uh, part of like a jackass curse where if something's been done and then you just go and reshoot the same thing that that's when like terrible injuries happen and for some reason i thought that that ice rink thing was a redo and maybe I it was it, i just showed, it was just like, showed we were already when, it wasn't my idea i was like okay it looked funny it was fun and then it hurt when when, when carney <laughs> it was it was a carney like uh was doing oh, yeah, jumping over yeah. the trash he's cans. really good at, at ice skating right yeah. and so he was jumping over trash cans it was on an ice skating rink yeah. and he's crashing into trash I was just cans on a skimboard though but yeah yeah the track it did have a lot of so, similarities yeah, so with that very, you're right you're yeah right. i didn't even think of that ever 
And mm. be, because I had something I did on my own where 50 Cent threw me down a bunch of concrete oh, God, stairs dude, on the yeah. bellhop cart. And I somehow miraculously got away with it. He did it three times in a row and I was fine. And and Tremaine loved that footage. So, so they got me to redo it. And the, it was redoing it for Jackass number two. I had the worst injury. With fucking, John Waters. With John Waters. John Waters, the director of like Pink Flamingos and Hairspray and a bunch of other yeah. you know, awesome movies. Anyways, he he's like, this like kind of smaller, like really nice guy, but suit hilarious. He was cracking us up, just so funny all day. We're like, this guy's the best. And then he pushes. They're both in like bellhop outfits. I think he, Pontius pushed it for some reason. I don't uh, think. John no, would, I thought he pushed it. I did. Okay, yeah, maybe. He, I think that was the whole idea. He would just give it a little push, and you'd fall <clears> down. <throat> and then, and he had to be taken away in, a, in an ambulance. And John Waters just like, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> he was like so bummed. He was, yeah, he was get taken away de- in ambulance. Dude, he was I, devastated I, after that. I, I I bet, dude. Like I, I I fucking like landed on the bellhop cart but somehow. Like didn't even look like anything, and the footage was fucking in the credits of the movie. Yeah, it didn't like, look it, bad when it happened, but it didn't look bad when it happened. It fucked me. That's your dude. lower back up. Huh? Did you break any bones? I don't know, dude. I can't remember. I I forget what they said. If there was like any kind of little fracture, all I know is I was out of commission, dude, and I was fucking. Oh, wow. like, I was I wasn't in like so much footage for that for that second movie yeah so then when when tremaine came to me about the fish hook and he was like hey man like would you put the hook through your face again on another day so we can get more shark footage and and i was like dude i got to like i'm light on footage man i need Mm. yeah i'll do it (laughs) because the first time i put the hook through my face there was me and pontius and some like official like body piercer guy who was like doing the the face piercing and tremaine hated that he was like it's like here's this body piercer. like who is this guy he's like can we do it again where it's just pontius putting the hook through your face so gnarly you know, and like, and it would also really help us if we do it, go out again, we can get more sharks. That was in South Africa or the Gulf? Uh, that was in the, the, Gulf, the Gulf of Mexico, off Louisiana. And, and yeah. so I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, put the hook through my face again <laughs> the, the second time. Uh-huh. And, uh, and, and that was the second day when, when the Mako went for my foot and I kicked the Mako. Mm-hmm. And I was so lucky because I, 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 was, I was off fucking kicking a mako shark in the face while we had split crews, and the, you guys were doing the riot test. Oh, and God, I, yeah. I don't think, and, and that was like your like most like, oh, I, yeah. I went by a moment, I, won't, I can't be a part of it. Dude. I would have been with you. I yeah, bet. it was horrible. They, you, did, you, it on a, they did, did it on a dummy first, and I was, and they're like, it won't draw blood, it won't break the skin. And I saw I hit that dummy. They were lying. And they, they were lying. Like, they like tore it apart. Yeah. I remember Ryan came up to me after, he's like, you're so smart to not do that. He was so bummed. He's like, I wish I did not do that. Damn. <laughs> really? Who ended up doing it? It was like Bam, like they, they, Bam they were Knoxville, and Knoxville. Knoxville. Yeah, Bam yeah. done in Knoxville. Dave yeah. tapped out and said he wouldn't do it bam cried <laughs> after <laughs> right Dude, it was cry worthy yeah it's like it's to make prisoners not want to leave the you know like riot like when they it just blast you with yeah. thousands of these little balls at high school right. Dude, like I wouldn't, breaks your I, spirit i, I wouldn't it does it's that. a spirit breaker there you it's go a spirit breaker yeah. yes I, I would not have done well with that fucking shit Ooh. one yeah. thing that comes to mind that you did that was just I don't know how gnarly it was, but it looked crazy when you showed up at Knoxville's place and the airbag like blasted yeah, you. That was, that was a crazy one because it was my day off and <laughs> I'd been bugging Knoxville for a long time back when iPods and you like, it's just all it does is hold music and you yeah. can go like someone else's computer and just load all their music onto it. So mm-hmm. like, he has so much awesome music. I'm like, oh. just kept bugging him and bugging him. You know, I got to get all your <laughs> stuff on my iPod. And he's like, yeah, we'll get around to it. One day he just calls me up on my day off. Hey. You want to get all that music? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they come on over. Oh my god! So like, if you watch it again, you'll see like it's in my hand, <laughs> and it excited. fucking just goes flying into the street and broke. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Did you didn't get the music. No, I did not oh get the music. God. I got fucking knocked, knocked in the, you in the dark. Yeah, I got knocked cuckoo. Yeah, what it was was the like the intercom. You push the button, right. and so you're, you're, you push the button, and there's like a little camera, so you're like looking, putting your face right uh-huh. there to be on camera, and it comes blasting out yeah, of that. Yeah, an airbag, high speed airbag, man. That thing knocked me. And the cuckoo. same exact day, he tells Dave England, "You want to get all the music?" He tells me, "He goes, hey dude, uh, can you dress up as a clown and come over to my house?" And I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> so I put on full clown makeup like the whole deal had to go over and they just didn't get a good shot when, oh. uh, but, but did you, you get got hit, hit with that good? same thing I, they, like, <clears throat> I, I think it just wasn't as like direct of a hit you know like but 
I, I didn't suspect anything. <laughs> you were just, like, right. just like, oh, in clown makeup and come over to your house. Sure, I'm there, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. like, up. yeah. like on a and Tuesday it, at two. Yeah, and it was that night too. That's why when uh, when I stripped Bam naked in my apartment, that was that same night. I was in clown makeup from that same thing. Oh wow! In that That's shot of, of me uh, stripping Bam, yeah. Yeah, where was that footage of you stripping Bam on your YouTube now, right? It, it, we we finally we finally found a home for it. <laughs> In the uh, my my best naked stunts. Was that in your apartment where you owned four apartments? Yeah, in the building where I was renting four apartments. What, why didn't you just get a house? Like, what's your thought? Like, you're like, I got an apartment, and then you wanted four he was more. Compart compartmentalized. Like, <laughs> one was party, one was skate, one was business, and the other one was more like your. Well, your then, house. then the other one was for my <laughs> assistant. <Yeah. laughs> Did you ever go over there? Oh yeah, all the time. Do you There's remember any over there? Any fun times over there? Lots of fun times. <laughs> it's great. It was all about fun times. <laughs> it's like, why would it not be fun? We had a full skate park in one of them. <laughs> That was awesome. And then just, yeah, like bong hits and beer and whippets and shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Video games and just yeah, like dude, what could rad music, <laughs> yeah. weird people coming over. So did fun. you did you rent those all at once or were you, did, did you get one and you're like, we should get another one? I got, I kept, kept adding. adding. Yeah, I kept, kept adding, adding them. I remember like, yeah, yeah, like, I, I thought it was crazy you had two and then three. I'm like, <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah. I like that one time when you like bashed in the wall to your neighbors. You're yeah. Like, Oh yeah. That, well, just the people just that were over there. That happen. Just imagine if you're the other guy. I know, dude. That must have been crazy. Yeah. yeah that oh my, was I that your only so neighbor weird. that ever complained? Like being no, next to the skate they're... park would have been terrible. I would think. Well, next to the skate park was like some Russian hookers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, they had like a little prostitution deal going on, so they weren't like trying to. Complain they were looking about for some anything. noise coverage anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. And like yeah. the other the other side of the skate park apartment had like a stairwell, oh, okay. and, and underneath was the parking garage. So that one was like pretty well situated. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I would want to be next to the the, the whippets one because you probably be, you're just doing this <laughs> and not making much noise, you know. No, no, well, the whippet one it was a problem. Like, uh, and and I, I did get complaints from the family. It was just this like foreign family, and the dad would come over like in uh, his boxer shorts, and he had his family, and he was like, "My family's trying to sleep, and the walls are shaking." Please. <laughs> I actually went back to that, uh, to, the, to the, like early in sobriety, I went back to the building and I said, hey, you know, like I had this family next to me and like, I just want to like, you know, pay a month of their rent just just because, and but they had already moved out. Mm. Did you ever find them? I did not. Man, too bad you can't reach out to them. I would love to. That whole If you're watching this like, like, <laughs> era of your life, like. Call us. You just want to go revisit it and make things right. Yeah, well, dude, now we're going to have like, oh, dude, I was the family. I was the family. Dude, I've had that experience. Do you remember dude. who they are, though? No. No, oh, I, really? I don't know. I only remember in the middle of the night, I'm all fucked up. The guy's in his boxer shorts begging me, like, to make the wall stop shaking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, dude. Yeah, it was really bad. Wow. Yeah, dude. So, so uh, can we promote anything for you? And I think the answer is no. So, can we set up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but not because if you, you're not. No, I don't up. got anything. Do you have you're, anything you're, going you're not, on? No. Not, you're not. Oh, I mean, no, when I didn't mean, that, I mean, didn't mean that to sound shitty. But no, it's not meant, shitty. It's I, just I, I'm pretty happy with how it's well, going. Well, I, I think you're. Know. I think you're a considerably more healthy person than I am. You know, like I'm actually. No, what? Well, dude, you've got these kids, and your kids are fucking running around like yeah, crazy, keep you, keep like crazy. like where anybody would lose their fucking mind with the the <laughs> chaos of your kids running around. Yeah, you and seem like you, a good dad. You see, you're completely unfazable. Sometimes, oh, I'm pretty phasable. You're a dude. I mean, do you ever get mad at them? Oh like, yeah, settle down. Yeah, I can't imagine you doing dude, that. I like, remember being yeah. impressed too. You're like, don't push each other near the fire. Push each other over there, <laughs> yeah. dude. And like, yeah, so the are kids. His kids are going crazy. They're bonkers. They're bouncing all over the place. And he's like, not even like phased. And, and he goes, dude, it's like they're wasted. <laughs> These little mini wasted. Yeah, yeah they're, like, they're, they're like wasted people. It's like know? hanging out at Steve's apartment back in the day. Well, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. how, how, old's, how old's your son? The youngest. Uh, five. He's dropping in on the skate oh, ramp. Oh, he rips the ramp up. Yeah, we got a little mini he, ramp. And he he's five something. years old. Yeah. Like, he was like, "You want to see me get up there and do it?" And he got up there, and then he just drops in. I'm he like, do "Grinds, what and the stuff. fuck?" He can do like fake your tail, yeah. fake. He kind of sometimes like pops little fakey all he pops to disasters and stuff too. Is it, is he he's trying. He's trying to do blunts. He can set up and do a blunt. I'm like, "That's you're not ready for that." But he he could do the whole thing, sets up, and then it doesn't come back with him. That's funny. 
you can yeah, all get back in. But. I think you're a great dad. I think uh, that, I, I think that you're like a, a healthy, well-adjusted person. Oh no, you just see the outside. You don't see. Uh, all behind. right. But I think where you're coming up short is that you, you're not selling merch online. I, I, think I don't we can, know, we can, man. We can, we can help, help you with, with that. that. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally what we're doing. <laughs> you guys have told me that before. I don't know. That's why we're here, Dave. You're just and such a go-getter, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know anyone like you, man. None, none, of, this, none of this podcast, podcast, none of this podcast is going to air. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I just can get you to do merch. I can't <laughs> emulate your style. Like, this, it won't work for me. I just don't have I don't have the... Pizzazz. I don't have the. I don't know. I don't know that I have any pizzazz or charm, but but I definitely you got have. Some, dude. People I've like got, you. I've got some fucking crazy persistence. I am a tireless fucking, yeah. a tireless attention whore, and 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 I th- I got that going for me. But yeah, dude, you don't have to emulate anything I'm doing. I'm well, thinking, you, just, but, you know, like going forward and making all this merch and stuff. I just like. I mean, like we've done. Little I jackass love tours. I'm, I made some T-shirts and stuff. And dude, I then, love your Dave England shirt. I wear. I know, but I never really sold enough to make any money. Like I don't think I've ever made money selling any T-shirts ever. I've I lost think, money selling T-shirts. Was I that the make, shirt? And then just give them away and stuff. Was oh, wait, what was it on the Canada tour? And then some bet some box, we, we man's box of merch yeah, they, got they stolen. Stoke. or something? Oh yeah, because me and Aaron got in a fight. Aaron, I kept fucking with and Aaron. D- finally, he had enough, and he punched me with his dumb rocker rings and like cut my head and like I dove over the table of merch and all the merch went <laughs> everywhere and then in all the mayhem someone else grabbed a box of Wee Man's merch and, and, and took off with it but you, we got it back do you have that footage of you and Aaron fighting Dimitri has Dimitri it Dimitri has it and he never... won't relinquish it and you know actually that reminds me what I wanted to ask you was I know every now and then like something that didn't air on Jackass or something you'll get it from them where there was only one only case. Once? There was I only you've one. Done that a few different times. No, no, there was only oh. one case. I was wondering where, how where you do happened. that because there's so much stuff I want to have. I'm like, I would love to just be able to be like, can you go grab me this footage from like whatever? I mean, I do. I, I think that it's you know the the one thing was when Bam broke my nose. And, uh, oh, I was you know, there for that. Yeah, bam, bam, How did you get shot? shot. You get shot with the BB gun. I was. I think I just said to Tremaine, I was like, "Hey, dude, I got my fucking nose broken. Yeah, I got a, a fucking case, a BB but... in my fucking nipple, and I for nothing. And like, let let me just fucking get it so I can fucking find a home for it." And, and Tremaine was just a bro. But you've never I, got other footage. I thought there. Nah. Were, I thought. What footage you would you want to get, Dave? I just random stuff like I'd make a little list. Be like, uh-huh. Can I it's, yeah, I, I, the, it's not that I got not, footage. That's the only jackass footage that I ever got. Um, and and I, other than that, I just film a lot. Yeah, you just have so much footage. <clears throat> yeah, Can you, you know what's a weird skit? I just thought of it, and Chris told me he has the footage. I hope Chris doesn't get mad. <laughs> Maybe check with him first. What? So like, Chris, I I don't even know. Like, we live in such a weird day and age. I don't want to get like be a problem here, but like. So we did a skit where we were... He can't get more upset We were gay dads. We were <laughs> explicit gay dads. And I was like a, a nerdy guy, and he was like a, a all leather daddy. And then we would meet up, and then... A we, leather daddy? I had like a fake baby, I think. And then like we would like... Uh, you know, like Think, do things like eat a piece of licorice and then meet in the mouth and start kissing like <laughs> and then like I'd be on his lap and like the baby be being smashed between us and stuff and dude that that was some of Dave's creativity the fucking the fake baby on the bike oh yeah and that was then, the very first thing I ever did on Jackass was the fake baby with the bike right and then yeah. that gave birth to all kinds of babies fucking yeah. ba- baby on the car and fucking well, snowboard that, baby Knoxville did that but right yeah. baby he did that because he got the idea from yeah. you yeah but um yeah, that was like the first thing I crashed that bike in front of people, and I that, back then I had no kids. So I'm like, this is hilarious, and then I had kids. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'd be so bummed and sad and like freaked out if I saw someone like crush a baby. But before I had babies, I didn't care about them at all. I mean, Knoxville had. <laughs> I was like, that's funny. A baby slammed its face on the ground. Ha ha. But you know, it's not real. But you know, to yeah. make other people think that, like women sure. and stuff coming out of grocery stores. Yeah, yeah. That's fuck, rot- dude. I feel bad now. I mean, it was funny, but was I wouldn't good. take it back. That yeah, shit, that, that, that shit was fantastic. The other thing I'm proud of is the sex bike I made. That was you your remember? T-shirt. That was your T-shirt. Yeah, that, so I made that T-shirt. Yeah. But back in the TV show, I went to a thrift store one day, and they had this <laughs> like weird, like old, like '50s style exercise bike. And I got it, and I pedaled, and so I had the kind when you pedal, the handlebars automatically move. And I remember it went bang right into my dick. I'm like, you know, idea light bulb yeah. comes up. So like, they also had they had a wig. On a um, mannequin head for sale. I'm like, can I buy this and the styrofoam head? They're like, yeah, sure. So I got the all that. Ripped the seat off out front and just jammed that thing on. And it just worked instantly. It instantly <laughs> I mean, it didn't like actually suck yeah. anything, but it just really looked like you know it would. I, that's hey, how's so, your uh, little robot working for the cat? 
I think good because I don't ever <laughs> smell cat shit. Yeah. 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 Steve-O gave me, uh, he more gave, oops, sorry. Shauna, my wife, he gave her a robot kitty litter. Yeah. It looks, litter. Like a, it looks like it's going to like take the cat to space. Yeah. Dude, but instead, better. it just makes like I never smell cat shit anymore. And um, I don't know. Thanks. God, dude, it's that, like, pretty amazing. It, I, I fucking just want to want to tell you thanks, man. And and dude, like, if there's anything else we can, you know, put the word out there about. Follow Dave on Instagram. Follow. Dave. Oh, I hate Instagram. I, I know. I'm sorry. Just like social media, man. I don't know, man. I lost my social media boner. What, 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 what did it's I just say? Like, how, how do you guys just keep wanting to do it after years and years? I don't know. First, I, think, I had so much fun, so much fun, and finally I'm like, what am I doing? I think I told you one day that Scott Randolph got off social media. He stopped up with Instagram. Yeah. And you said, I wish Bam would get off Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so on that note, we'll, uh, we're, we'll <laughs> let it go. But, Dad, dude, thank you, Dave. And uh, at first, I'm like, what's he thanking me for? Went, oh, it's because it's the end. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, that's cool. Yeah. But it, I'm like, it, did it, I do something to be thought? It's not, even, it's not even appropriate to, to say on the podcast, but, I, you know, like, thanks for putting up with me. I'll just say that in general. <laughs> you know? You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, man. you guys have a date to get to tonight. Yeah, we, got, we got a date. Thank you yeah. for letting me fucking, like, you know, impose this podcast on you, you know. This is awesome. Thanks for having me, man. I'm dude, stoked. I think it's people. Are I like it in here. Yeah, These are hot. So I was like fun, wearing dude. earmuffs. But yeah. other than that, Plus, while you're sitting there all itchy, like, I can't believe I'm you're able to fucking, just sit still yeah. this whole time. Yeah, I think it kept my mind off it a little bit. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to promote? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm do you want to shake that thing? I said. I said. Do you have anything you want to promote? I know I'm the gonna guess that. No. <laughs> that's yeah. The that's a good awful. guess. Yeah. And then he's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I love you so much. Dave. Love you too, Steve. And, uh, and I love you too. Yeah. Love you too, Dave. You guys, oh, Let, let's yes, go, fucking. Well, not her. I don't love this flea <laughs> bag right here. She's the best. <laughs> Let, go back to Peru, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's go hang out with our ladies. Dude, All right. That shit was Sounds little, good. That's the hardest I've ever laughed. Man, I hope everybody laughed as hard as we did on that one. And uh, if you didn't, then there's something wrong with you, man, because that was hilarious. And, you know, dude, somebody said to me the other day uh, for the first time, like, hey, dude, do you have your fucking Raycons in your pocket? And I was like, fuck yeah, I do, pal. Do I don't know. <laughs> Shit! Oh, uh, but I did. And, uh, yeah, it was so cool, man. The guy said, I'm street team. I was like, brother. Um, so, yeah, dude, it just meant a lot to me, and as you all do. And, of course, as always, man, thank you for watching. Have a great day. <laughs>